IDBC have launched some new watches. And I'm probably late to the show on this one, I know. Uh, but the sun's out. And when the sun's out in Scotland and you've got ribs in the fridge, that means you have barbecue. And now, now I stink of charcoal and ribs. I've smelt worse. I've been to Reading twice. Welcome back to Bark and Jack. I am Adrian, and a lot of things have been shutting down. Rolex, Patek, Basel World, and, and it's pretty interesting how half of the watch industry has kind of just closed up shop, and then the other half are just cracking on and making do of what they can. So IWC has launched a, a whole load of new Portuguese. They haven't done anything else apart from the update the Portuguese range. More stuff is coming later on in the year, but right now it's just the Portuguese stuff that they've launched. If I'm honest, the Portuguese range is massive. It could be a watch brand in itself. And they've done quite a few updates to quite a few models. Uh, I'm not gonna go through all of them because that'd just be boring for me and for you. Uh, so I've just cherry picked a few that I think are, are pretty cool. The main thing to note is that they've, they've held on to their standard Portuguese design DNA that they have. It's, they're very obviously IWC watches but it's under the hood, which is probably where the main changes be, that everything now is in-house. I haven't seen these watches in person. What you see is what I've seen. I've just read the press releases, um, and that's, that's pretty much it. And I've, as I've said plenty of times before, it's really hard to pass comment on a watch when you haven't seen it. So these are just my initial thoughts on, on what they're doing. Um, hopefully when all this stuff's over, then we can get hands on these watches and, and really get an idea of what is going on. First up is the Portuguese Automatic 40. Really quite a simple watch and that appeals to me. I like my simple watches. Time only with a really nice sub seconds down at six o'clock. These watches are inspired by the IWC 325 from the late 1930s. I really do like the clean look of these watches. I, I think this is gonna be one of those pieces that could be really quite uh, versatile, even though it's being launched, it's being offered on this fairly formal leather strap. But given the versatile design of the watch, I think it'd be very easy to dress it down, just change the strap out for something a little less formal perhaps like a Bark and Jack mocker strap. Over at BarkandJack.shop, we sell a whole load of NATO and leather straps. We've just received more stock of this mocker strap. And jump over to BarkandJack.shop and check them out. After this video, of course, do, do it. let this video run its course and there'll be links in the little comment bit and description down below. But check out the video first. So finally on this Portuguese, this is a 40 millimeter wide case, which really does feel quite large, but it's gonna, have to be one of those things that you just experience in life. And it's powered by an in-house movement, which has a, a fairly decent 60 hour power reserve. You can see it through the back. It has a sapphire crystal case back and it's gonna be retailing from 6,450 pounds. So next up we have the Portuguese Tourbillon Retrograde Chronograph. It's a cool name for a cool watch. We're gonna ignore the price on this one until the end because um, let's just enjoy it. Let's enjoy it and ignore the price for the moment. This is an awesome looking watch and, and tourbillons are really quite pointless in watches, uh, but they, they do look cool. And as long as they're in the right place, they look cool. I really like the chronograph register at 12 o'clock with the little red details on there. I think that is really nicely placed. But the coolest part of this watch is uh, the retrograde date indicator. Uh, I love anything retrograde, so I'm, I'm just a sucker for anything that it, it just bounces back like this will do. The problem is with this date indicator, you can't tell the date at a glance because there are only a handful of numbers on this date line. And so it's not a matter of glancing at it, it's a matter of looking, okay, we're not quite on the seventh, so what are we on the sixth or the fifth? Regardless of how user friendly or, or how useful this watch is to the end user, I think this is an awesome looking watch. It's just a shame it's made out of um, platinum, which makes it 114,000 pounds. That's a lot of money. So the next one, this is the second from last. This is a Portuguese Yacht Club Chronograph. This retails for 11,600 pounds. It's quite obviously an IWC. It's got all the hallmarks of IWC, but at the same amount of having all the hallmarks of IWC, it's quite a big departure, I'd say as well, especially with that bracelet. I think it's a great looking watch and that's why it's in this list. It'll be really interesting to see what the bracelet is like in real life because there's um, a lot of people can get bracelets wrong and a lot of people can get bracelets right. At 11,600 pounds, I really hope that these guys have, have nailed it with this bracelet. I love the dial color. I love the layout of the dial. I love the styling of the dial. I think all of that is really quite cool and I really like my white dials at the moment and this, 
just nicely fits into that category. It is a shame that it's 44.6 millimeters wide though. Again, I'd like to see this thing in real life. IWC have actually gone a step further trying to help us do that. On their website, when I was looking through this stuff, uh, I saw a QR code, scan it with your phone, and then that'll load up a page and you can play around with the watch in augmented reality. Really pretty neat. So next up is the Hero product. This is, well, at least what I think is IWC's Hero product of this launch. And it's a Portuguese Yacht Club Moon and Tide. This thing is a 30,800 pound watch, but it's it's pretty cool. It's got some interesting things about it. We have a moon and tide indicator. We have a double moon indicator at 12 o'clock, and this is both for the Northern and Southern Hemisphere. It also has a neap and spring tide indicator. And down at six o'clock, we have another indicator for the tide to show low and high tide. And what you do is you dial this in for your, your location, your tide, and it will accurately track your tide with a cycle of 12 12 hours and 24 minutes. This is one of those watches, maybe it's to do with yachting, but it's, it's like the, the Yacht Master by Rolex, uh, Yacht Master 2. It's, it has stuff on it that just no one's ever going to use, uh, but it's, it's pretty cool. I like the idea of what's gone into capturing this, and I guess it's like moon phase. We don't need to know the phases of the moon, but it's a cool thing to track anyway. I guess what that's what some of us just like about watches is, is the tracking of various time elements and tide is just another element of time. Pretty cool. But again, this is massive at 44.6 millimeters. Although I guess it's quite complicated inside. So maybe we can let that one go. It's got extra cogs to the, the, the tide indicator, for example, is powered by uh, the hour pinion. And it's got three extra cogs to slow down the rotation of the hour pinion so that it can correctly calculate the, the tide. So I, I guess we can allow these watches to be slightly larger because there's, there's more stuff going on. It's just from a stylistic point of view, I just wish these things were smaller. What am I talking about? I don't have 30,000 pounds for a watch. It's a, I'm not gonna get this thing. So it, it, it doesn't matter if it's 60 millimeters wide, it, it makes no difference. Anyway, guys, that's, that, that, there are my the things that I've pulled out from the IWC launch. Guys, drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of these choices and, and as a, the release as a whole. Just editing that video and the ending of the video is gone. So I, I must have run out of SD card space. There's been some amazing watches launched at Watches and Wonders. And to be honest, one of my favorite watches is from a brand that I don't think I've spoken about yet on this channel. And there's there's some honestly some awesome watches coming um, and i'll be trickling some videos out over the next few days so hit that subscribe button down there so you make sure you don't miss anything and a little bell icon so you get notifications when i do drop a new video also if you want to check out those mocker straps jump over to barkandjack.shop and check out the mocker straps that we have and if you're on instagram give me a follow at bark and jack and i'll see you guys next time take a while i'll see you tomorrow i'll see you tomorrow cheers